if you come with the expert and I'm the expert, when you're doing something no one's ever done before, I don't want you on the team. Hmm. Because we all are learning about something that has never been in existence before. And we have to bring that level of vulnerability and openness to new ideas and new ways of doing things throughout the team. So you want people that are able to have like beginner's mind or whatever, like beginner's mind. don't don't come in as an expert. What's the story? Okay. You're not allowed to, okay. All right, no, I, I can tell it. For sure. All right. So, so, you know, you asked what were these risks, you know, like on the early iPod and there's, there was, there was a few big risks, like one, and this, this doesn't go in the story, but like putting rotating media in your pocket and it could drop at any time. Mm -hmm. What happens there? And like, you can damage because the heads and the hard drive media are so close. It smacks, the, it's dead, yeah. right? So that was one big one, like, is holy shit, right? <laughs> so that was something we, and we had to design special tests and everything and special software on that. But then there was another one, which was at the early days, the way the first generations of iPods, I had to hack the, I had to hack the IDE interface to the hard drives. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, what we're gonna use is we're gonna use this chip for hard drive, um, um, hard drive, to make a hard drive, you had to have a chip that did firewire to a hard drive, okay? And then that would become a portable hard drive. Well, then the, we had a, a, a um, we had the MP3 player and, and the user interface and everything. So there was times when it was just this hard drive and there was times when it was a MP3 player. And I had to hot switch between <laughs> we, what the hard drive thinks it was talking to, yeah. right? So designed this thing, tore it apart, did all this stuff. And I was like, you know, maybe I'm gonna screw up IDE and there's something, there's some holes I'm gonna see. Mm -hmm. So I go, who's the expert at Apple who understands IDE and everything? So this person comes over, the mass storage specialist <laughs> comes over and I put on the whiteboard and say, here's how we're gonna do this thing and here's the commands and da, da, and this is how it hot switches and everything. He's like, that's never gonna work. Yeah. And I was like, what? It was never going to work. I said, well, let me go over here and show you this right here. I have it prototyped and it's been working for days. I just want to see if you're going to have it, find any holes in the thing. Right. Didn't even, did, and he just stormed out of the room and never, never even. Yeah. Right. That's hilarious. I've had a lot of experience like this with experts. Like, uh, for example, this ridiculous room. Um, I had, uh, I had a person, and there's, there's many people like this, that I, I showed them, here's the situation you know, it's for acoustics or something. Acoustics, yeah. They're like, no, 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 no. This is horrible. <laughs> this, 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 not. This is not going to work. The reflection, the the curtains are not going to stop. Uh, the there's a bunch of terminology they're telling me. Um, it's a similar kind of situation as the ID, which I was like, no. I, listen, <laughs> I just need to see is there major issues and they're like a low hanging fruit that are fixable and major holes I should be aware of. Not like let's-, let's $100,000 to upgrade. To upgrade for what exact purpose? The, what, not why. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The why, the focusing on the on the story, on the content, on the the, the why, the why, the why. And that, that actually, I've experienced that unfortunately in the artistic realms too, which is like, photography and videography, cinematography. Uh, it's interesting, I talk to photographers that are quote unquote experts. And it's always about, the, so much of the focus is on the equipment, the equipment behind mm -hmm. the sensors and the, the lighting. <laughs> and it's like, all right, all right. But um, what about, what about the feeling of the story you create visually. Mm -hmm. The difference between a, a, a movie that's really well told and it doesn't have all the effects and everything versus maybe some of the superhero movies we see all the time, which is good luck if there's a story, but man, there's a lot of action and, and CGI. Right? Well, that's that's right. And that, and there's also value to the to to those right CGI oh, uh, sure. superhero. Can tell a better story, but you have to have a good story to begin with. Sure, exactly. But it, it, it's if you're focused on the story, I guess you need to start with a story. You need to start the story. And if you bring in experts, they can often be uh, detrimental, I guess, to the why. They're, they're too good at doing the what. Well, you can bring in experts for why. There's lots of experts for why. 
too many times we get experts for what? <laughs> yes. And then they only focus on the what. And so you, so they come with the specs and feeds and the, the numbers and all the other stuff. But what you're really asking for is I need somebody about the why and understanding what we're trying to get done here and fitting the what's into that why, right? That's why I, I, I do think that uh, I, w one of the qualities that I really enjoy for people to work with is like humility for a particular problem when you approach it. Basically, I don't know how to solve this, but we're going to figure it out as opposed to, oh, I've solved this thing many, many times before, I know mm -hmm. exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. uh, humility before the chaos, uh, sort of having, having an open mind that this is going to require a totally new way of doing uh, things is, is a really nice quality to see.